up you guys welcome back to my channel i was actually going to make this video into a dust and disgust but i'm going to be honest i really don't feel like dusting my fingers right now so we're just going to do a chill little talking video right in front of my figure shelf i turned on the lights on the shelves for your comfort and maybe for some like cute aesthetic video vibe i don't know what you want to call it but um hopefully uh, you don't mind that I'm not dusting my fingers, but you should dust your fingers for sure. Do as I say, not as I do, or don't do in this case. But anyways, today's video, we are going to be talking about uh, my New Year's collecting goals. I am just going to be milking the shit out of this New Year video idea thing. So <laughs> maybe there will be more New Year's related videos coming soon. I don't know, really. I'm still working on them, but... Um, yes the new year has been great for new video ideas for me <laughs> so yeah this video is going to be about um new year's collecting goals and this isn't necessarily strictly about collecting figures but it could also be um about my collecting channel and like content content wise and not again not necessarily specific to figure buying figures and like all that jazz I don't, I don't know hopefully that makes sense but um here we go um please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think as always in the comment section below also um i'm gonna be trying this is also in this is also part of one of my new year's collecting goals i'm gonna be trying to promote my instagram more uh because i post a lot of my collection on there and I feel like I just never promote it. I do put the link in the description, but I never like actually come out and say, hey, go follow me. I think I've done it like once or twice in a past video a while back, but I always seem to forget. Um, so I'm gonna be trying to do that more. So please go like, or please go follow me on Instagram, uh, where I take photos of my figures and other anime merch from time to time. Uh, it is peach.n.cheeks, uh, and the link is in the description if you don't want to type all that out, which I understand. Um, so yeah, go follow me there, please. So with that, I, I guess I'll just talk about my first goal since we're already on the topic of Instagram uh, I want to at least hit 1k this year on Instagram for a few reasons a of course I want to grow my channel who doesn't that's a content creator but also every time I post a video on uh, YouTube and I go to promote on Instagram I cannot I don't have the option to like have viewers like swipe up so it could directly send the viewer to my YouTube video, I have to literally just type in new YouTube video, link is in my bio. And I don't I don't want to have them taking an extra step. So and, and clicking on my channel or clicking on my uh, profile and then clicking on the link. And like the link that's on my bio, I think is um, not even like my actual YouTube channel. I think it's a link tree and then you have to go through the link tree and click on you know like it's just it's it's too much i want to be able to actually link the video on the story that they see that was long-winded but hopefully i got the point across um so i want to hit 1k on insta for that specifically that's like the main reason to be honest um and again, with Instagram, I guess this moves on to my second goal. Oh, and to do that, I would obviously need to actually say on these videos to follow me on Instagram. And not just like put the link to my Instagram in the description of my video. I need to speak the words, but I guess I'm like so caught up in unboxing <laughs> the figure or doing whatever I, I'm, I'm doing on the video that and getting to the point that I'm, I get distracted and I never actually say it. Um, but uh, again, moving on to my next goal, which is also Instagram related and uh, is also necessary to gain more followers and hit that 1K. I want to post more figure photography. I recently posted actually a photo and it was of my beautiful Anya figure right over there and I posted that well today <laughs> uh, I posted that six days ago so I don't know how long it's gonna be when you watch this video um, but prior to that my last 
Instagram photo of a figure that I have was August 25th, which honestly isn't as bad as it used to be. Um, I used to like go like, I don't know, months, more, more, more than that um, without posting a Instagram photo of my figures. And I loved doing that. I don't know. I just got caught up in doing other things. And then, um, and then there were times that I was like too lazy. And then there were times where I felt like posting a photo and taking photos of uh, the figures, but then there wasn't enough sunlight hitting my room. And I, and, um, let me tell you, I have a ring light, but it literally sucks. It does nothing for me or my figures. So I've just, I gave up on that and I mainly use like this top shelf as my background for my figures so I wouldn't I don't <sighs> the amount I struggle with taking one photo of one figure in my collection just to post it on Instagram is insane it's like a joke so <laughs> there's a lot of effort that goes into it trust me a lot of effort and anger and impatience and um frustration and I say that but the end result makes it worth it because I always end up liking the photo for the most part um anyways okay moving on I've been like talking about Instagram for too long I feel so moving on this next one is actually about figure collecting but I want to try to focus more on figures that I've been trying to look for in the past um that have like already been released and I just like either I kind of got distracted and never ended up doing because I've had like pre-orders every month that I, I had to like pay for and I couldn't go and afford the other figures that have already be been released or I just like forgot about them. So I have like a few, for example, I have this K-On figure of Yui and she's supposed to be part of a set of K-On uh, figures with all the girls and I actually really love that set a lot. She was just my favorite in that set so I prioritized her uh, but I do want to collect the entire set so I want to work on that. I also also and I'm scared to put this out there because I feel like if I mention it everybody's going to start looking for it as if everybody isn't already looking for it but I feel like I don't know if I put it out there I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my chance even more of finding this figure for a good price but I'm also trying to get my hands on the uh Misa Death Note figure like the Misa Death Note figure um if you know which one I'm talking about you know okay I'm not even gonna put a photo of it here because I'm not trying to give you all ideas to steal it from me steal my opportunity of finding it okay I'm not trying to add another person looking for this figure than there already is. <laughs> so those are just like examples of like already released figures that I want to focus on finding rather than just like pre-ordering over and over again. Also, I feel like the figures that are coming out now aren't as good as the figures that I'm looking for, right? At least, at least if not quality wise, at least concept wise. So there's that. So I should really, really focus on that. Also, I feel like, I don't know, maybe I'll make a video on this in the future. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just forget. But I feel like there's barely any point to pre-ordering figures now. Let me know in the comments if you agree and what your thoughts are on about that. But I feel like a lot of people feel the same way. So I'm just putting it out there. Maybe I'll do a video of it. Maybe not. Okay, my next one is also um, figure collecting related. Um, but it not about figures that I buy in the future but figures that I already own now I want to be able to rearrange this shelf better or like decorate it in a way I do love the lights um, one of the things that I want to do is being able to rearrange my shelf again better or like these figures better like I feel like this shelf for example looks odd because it's like you have these tall figures I, I feel like this just does not match um, part of doing that is getting another shelf and finding space. So there's that. But also, you know, aside from like rearranging the actual figures, maybe I'll put like, you guys tell me what you think about this, but maybe I'll put like um, prints or maybe manga panel prints or just like art prints or whatever, any print that I think would fit or look nice. And if you have ideas, you can let me know that as well. Um, and I'll stick them to the back of the shelves. You know what I mean? 
let me know what you think of that idea but at the same time i really like this like white aesthetic going on i don't know it looks cleaner i also know a lot of people don't like cr crowded shelves but i love crowded shelves because i like I like the actual shelf to look full and take up space and I have like a ton of stuff and like, yeah, I don't know. Um, anyways, so yeah, just customize and decorate and rearrange my shelf better. My next one is actually something I've been wanting to do for a while, but I can never find the right time. Like I never feel like the time is right to do this and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm always like, oh, but I'm going to get this figure and like, I don't want to do it until I get this figure because I love this figure so much and I want everybody to see it and everything on my shelf. But I want to film at some point a video of my entire figure collection. And I, yeah, I just never feel like it's the right time to do so. And I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe after I like rearrange my shelf to the way I like it and decorate it and customize it to the way I like it, I'll feel ready. But yeah, I want to be able to do that. Hopefully I can do that this year. Uh, who knows? Um, and then with that, I also want to do a separate video of my entire collection in general. So figures, uh, plushies, <laughs> acrylic stands, posters, acrylic keychains, all, all that. Prints, all of that. Enamel pins, all of that. <laughs> um, so I want to be able to do a video on that. I need to like milk my collection videos to death. Anyways, so next up, this one is, this is one of the things where I'm like, I want to do this so bad, but when I actually sit down to do it, I know I'm, I'm not going to want to do it because I'm like way too lazy to um this is like one of the things where like you lay in bed the night before and you're like in the morning or the tomorrow I'm gonna do this this and that uh this this and that and um it's the next day and you that that ship has sailed that energy is like long gone <laughs> anyways um so for this last one I actually want to add a section on my figure collection on my pro profile on my figure collection of uh, all my resin figures that I own because or like unlicensed resin figures that I own because there's no uh, way you can like actually add that in the on the site because it's unlicensed and it's like I guess it's prohibited <laughs> on that website to add it as an actual listing so I want to at least uh, have a customized section on my profile that has like images of the figures I own that are unlicensed but are very very badass and everybody needs to know that I have it <laughs> okay so yeah that was actually it those are my new year collecting goals let me know what you think and let me know if you have any actually in the comment section below so I, I really want to know and maybe I'll add yours to mine maybe you'll give me ideas for more although who knows if I can handle my own but <laughs> anyways uh, thank you guys so much for watching please go follow my Instagram I promoted it like 50 times now in one video to make up for all the other times that I never did. Um, and please make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, and I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.